Okay, I'm going to be making a video review and unboxing of my Gillette Labs with exfoliating bar today. And I am going to be using Aveeno Therapeutic Shave Gel on one side of my face and Barbasol with Soothing Aloe on the other half of my face. So this is the unboxing. It does come with an extra blade. One's already attached. It does have a magnetic stand for the uh, razor, which... Uh, keep it clean I guess easily accessible uh, the concept is this little green strips it's kind of rough so like exfoliating it loosens up dry skin and stuff the concept is it's supposed to loosen up uh, your skin before you run the razors over it there is a little bit of flex to these blades they're definitely flexible they got some spring in them so they're supposed to come to tour to your face I'm going to be shaving one half of my face with this and the other half I'm going to be using my good old standby razor my Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Power Razor it's got five blades can't really find anything to beat it so I'll see how it goes Take two. okay so I have the Barbasol Soothing Aloe Gel uh, shaving cream on this side the right side of my face that I'm going to use the uh, Gillette exfoliating bar razor on. Put the Aveeno, it's actually shaved gel on the left side of my face. I'm gonna shave with my uh, Gillette Fusion Pro Glide razor. So here we go. The Gillette Fusion Pro Glide is a battery powered razor. The Gillette one with the exfoliating bar is not. So pretty skeptical goal it's gonna work good. And uh, I always shave with the grain, which that's going down on my face, up on my neck. And then when I'm done, I go against the grain. Man, this razor is just really great so far. I can't even feel it. Just. I can knife through butter so far. I, I really, it's not pulling up my hairs or anything at all. There you go, it's pretty, you can see it's really smooth. Um, it's the best razor I've ever used that isn't battery powered or electric. I'm just, I'm pretty amazed with this. Uh, I don't know about the exfoliating part, it might be kind of bogus, but uh, man, I don't know if it's the, it's actually got five blades or what, but man, this sucker is great, it works really good. So, there you go. All right, this is the left side of my face and neck with the Aveeno Shave Gel. I'm gonna use my uh, Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Power. It's got a AAA battery in here that vibrates. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it vibrates the razors as you're uh, uh, shaving. And uh, see how it goes. Pretty much as quick as that with these Gillette razors, but 
Now I'm going to go against the grain and really do some cleanup work. There you go, it's a baby smooth on both sides of my face, but the, uh, the uh, Gillette with the exfoliating bar definitely won this contest. Just, I mean, my razor was a little old and dull on my Gillette Fusion Pro Glide, but man, this razor is as good as it gets as far as not having any ba battery power or electric power. Uh, that's definitely a safe buy, especially if you don't like electric razors or something for traveling. Um, this sucker is definitely as good as it gets. As far as the uh, shaving gel, Aveeno shaving gel and the Barbasol with soothing aloe, uh, they both worked great. I couldn't really tell any difference. Um, the Aveeno is supposed to uh, prevent razor bumps. So I can uh, jump online and give you some reviews. So even if I don't buy something on Amazon, I like to look at the reviews on Amazon. I already have the Gillette razor with the exfoliating bar pulled up, um, $24.99. Anyways, I'm just trying to see if the replacement blades are cheaper than my Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. $24.99 for four of them, whereas my Pro Glide, you can see here, you can get, uh, here's an eight count. You can get eight of them for... $33.99 so it's definitely a little cheaper for the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Power so I'll probably be sticking with it just because of that because there's really not too much di difference although the Gillette with the exfoliating bar is not powered and it, it did shave better it was definitely a better razor so it's up to you as far as that regard goes uh, this razor is still pretty new so it doesn't have very many ratings take a peek at them real quick I like to go down to go, go to all reviews and then I sort them by uh, most recent. Um, so smooth, best shave I have ever had versus my other Gillette razor. It's definitely the best razor I've ever used, but like I said, my replacement blades on the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide are just a tad bit cheaper, but you're not going to see many reviews on it yet, so package tips now weeks of shaves in this guy's complaining about the package so anyways there's not enough reviews on it yet so like I said uh, it's definitely a better sh the best shave I've ever had I was way surprised so as far as performance you can't beat it and then uh, as far as the shaving cream I got the uh, Barbasol with soothing aloe um, the reviews are really good. This guy's complaining about not being rust proof because he's got like six cans in his shower, so that doesn't count. Everybody else is pretty much happy with the the lubrication. It keeps them from getting cuts and stuff. And so it's pretty much the same as the Avino. Although the Avino has over 17,000 global ratings. And uh, these are the most recent reviews again. Um, Works but drying, works but feels drying on my skin. Personally think conditioner is a better choice than shaving cream. Some of these are gonna be ladies on the reviews too, so. Uh, that one doesn't count, it's about missing bottles or some baloney. Comfortable clean shave, perfect foam, shave less, super silky smooth legs. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of old women hair that use it too, but men can use it on their face too, so. They're both a safe bed. I mean, it looks like the Avino's a little bit better if you have sensitive skin or razor bumps. So as far as price, the Avino is $364, but it's a longer can. Let's see, it was a... Uh, oh, where's the 
Where's the ounces? I don't see all seven ounces in the picture on the can. And the Barbasol is, of course, going to be cheaper, I bet. I uh, don't even see. Oh, $22.50. It must be like a pack of six. And let's see if I can go back and find a single can real quick. Here we go. Pack six, pack of two. Here's a pack of two for 841. So surprisingly, the Barbasol is not really cheaper. So I would just go with the Avino. So there you have it. Uh, I like the Avino shave gel a little better. And the Gillette men's razor with the exfoliating bar is the best razor I've ever used. I was way surprised with it. Yeah, it never wants to fucking stop when I'm not.